So in the last video of it, I may I just showed the game off to the planet, but in this version we're going to be doing something different. So give me a quick let me add. Except that's too lame. Let me get a jack o' lantern instead. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine it with other objects which are smaller than it. That's the thing, if we combine it with objects that are bigger than it, it will just become that object we just try to combine with it. But we by combining it with other objects, as it progressively gets larger, it will progressively increase the size of the objects. Um, ooh, the radius. So yeah, this is going to take a very long time, but yeah, we're just going to keep making it bigger and bigger. Uh, so can anything... New Horizons... Saturn V third stage. Nope. Just some basketballs for now. Yeah, that'll fit in. Right, can we put a triangle inside? We can. So this is now multiple meters wide. Nope, still too big for Cassini. Tesla Roadster! Yeah, we can put Elon's car inside. Okay, the radius is getting progressively bigger. Yeah, this is just as Tesla's floating in there. Right, can we put New Horizons in? We can! It's only increasing it by 10 centimeters at a time, though. Third stage? Nope. What about Juno? No. Cassini? Yeah, we can put the Parker probe in it. But it isn't increasing it by that much. We can just put a generic satellite. But that. It's not the realistic size of a satellite. Yeah, James Webb Telescope. Gigantic. Even bigger than Hubble. I prefer Hubble though. I mean, who doesn't? Great Mirror and Itakiza. We're a bit too big for that. What about the TARDIS? Oh, didn't mean to press that. Let's combine it with some more TARDISes. No, I want to get the data on its radii. Radii. Radius. Are those objects orbiting around it? Let's just delete those. Uh, can I? I guess I can't. More. Wait until its radius is five. No, till Z. See, we are at five. New Horizons fits very snug inside. Even the Saturn V third stage is coming close to fitting. Ah, damn it. We've got to restart. Well, everyone, back to the beginning. Well, the music stops. Oh, it's back again. Good. Right, oh, we've got to completely restart it. It's about 1.6, 1.7 now meters wide. Uh, okay, this is going to take a very long time to do. And I won't put something inside that's way bigger, even I swear when I put that. 
inside. New Horizons does it. Okay. So we have an eye, that thing up inside uh, Voyager. Was smaller, saw so some of it sticked out, but that's way too small for a satellite. They re they've incorrectly sized that. But anyway, Voyager almost all of it fit inside. But some and it's kind of just really it's kind of just trying to figure out if that means it will fit. So it's a TARDIS. I just want to make sure Tesla. Yeah, we can put a test the roadster inside. Now we can put the police box inside. It's barely increasing its size though. What about New Horizons? Still barely. What about the Parker Solar Probe? Yeah, it's still by a bit. Yep, uh, 10 centimeters each time, not that much. So it's just over six meters now. Voyager, I don't want to risk it. Do you know that rear that especially can't? But what can? Can a monolith? Can the Phantom Zone fit? Which is the developers of the game? Yeah, picture. Yes, that can, but... Cini, no. Well, just more clicking, everyone. So, we're now at a radius of 8 meters, as you can see there. Will it fit Voyager? Yes! God, look how much it expanded from that. It's barely expanding now, no, the arrivals way too big for this, even the pyramids are. What about Juno? Can I put the S4... Well, I could put the S4B in a really long time ago. There's just Voyager 1 inside. No. No. Why is it spinning so much now? Just lost a lot of its uh, mass and radius. Its, its density has halved. What happened here? I've always wondered if they made it hollow. Cassini. Just some more clicking. Yay! Except, I just realised I can speed it up if I take this density here and lower it. What? Anyway, time to do more clicking. Can we add any bodies in? Oh, it's multiple kilometers now. Can we put Haley? No, we cannot put Haley. We can't put Sharik though. We can put 2015BZ509 inside. Jeez, it's massive now. Oh, it's getting way bigger now. So, Hermea, Sedna, Ares. Maki Maki, Pluto obviously won't fit. Or we can put Scott Manley, who if anyone doesn't know is a YouTuber. Um, physics YouTuber, I guess you could say. Oh, just slightly too small to put series inside. Right, so, um,. Yeah, let's make it gradually bigger. Then I'll put series in. Can Pallas go in? Yep. Oh, it's multiple times the Earth's radius. Moons? No. Earth. It's multiple Jupiter. God, this is exponential growth. We can put the Sun. Easily. Sorry, we can fit the Sun in. 
Ida Karina, no, that's Ida Karina B, that will work. So just more spam clicking, or R13 6A1, which is the densest star, I believe it's about 300. Oh yeah, it's a nine, I think it's 361 times the sun's density. It's the most massive star. What about Ida Carina? There's a supernova, I think, going on inside it. No, never mind. Or is there? Nope. So this is still UI Scutais. Steams into 18, obviously too large. What about Beetlejuice? Algal. Yeah, Edo Carina A. We can keep putting that in until we get to 10, let's say. Actually, let's just go for 6. Here we are at 6. I think, well, we can put Beetlejuice Juice in now. Well, it's not actually making it any wider. What if we increase the time? Let's get into 18. You know what, let's just lower its density. Uh, so, density... Uh, kilogram so that's times 0.5 there we go we might be able to fit Stevenson 218 inside we can fit Stevenson 218 inside Even that barely increases anymore but now, the... So, it's half a light year wide. So that's just radius, that's not even... So... Uh, so let's choose something even bigger. Large Magellanic Cloud. So yeah, of course that's going to be bigger, that's a whole galaxy, but still. Interesting. Let's get this thing Saturn's rings. I just realised that... <laughs> that's going to be inside it anyway, because... Uh, obviously Saturn's rings are way smaller than half a light year in diameter. Well, just work out. Let me click on it. There's a supernova going on inside, but you can't even see it. Ah, that's bright. So, yeah, that's <laughs> it. This is multiple light years across. And even though it's spinning at the same speed, which means it's spinning at like ridiculous speeds relative to humans but it's still spinning at the same speed relative to its mass anyway so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed please drop a like down below and consider subscribing i'll see you in the next one and as always good night